Just share my desktop, why not? All right. Oops, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay there, guys. Good morning. How you doing? It's me, Nikimbe, and I thought I would just leave a quick video. This is actually what I used to do for my team before the MILD program, Mathem International Leadership Development Program. I would teach interns sort of like behind the scenes look at what was really happening in corporate marketing. And then I would I would make these videos for them. And this is how they would learn. So now I'm just doing it for the general public. And uh, because well, YouTube was big back then, but it's way bigger now. And we're very much intentionally focusing on video marketing. So our videos are not just for our team anymore. We're putting them out there for the public on our channel to grow our channel. So if you actually happen to be watching this on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe and like and comment and sign up for notifications. <laughs> okay. Anyway, there's your call to action. Make sure you have a call to action in your video. So what I want to do is um, right now in the SOLD system, S-O-L-D, Strategic Organic Leads on Demand, we focus on 12 strategic areas from which you can get high quality leads for free where you master each individual strategy until that one strategy is producing leads and profit for you, right? Once that engine is working really well, then you add the next one, 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 and that's how you build synergy and momentum. So the first area, of course, that we look at is, like I said, video, it's quick, easy, fast, effective, free, et cetera. The algorithms like it, they can go viral. 1,200% more share than text and links and words combined. So we wanted to focus on video, right? If you are a business owner, or if you're an entrepreneur, a small business owner, solopreneur, mompreneur, whatever, right? Even a larger corporation. If you don't have a lot of money for ads, then video is definitely the way to go. So, and I'll, I'll explain the sort of logic of why the steps in the soul system are sequenced the way that they are. I won't do that in this video, but I'll let you know in an upcoming video. Anyway, so the first area we'll look at is video marketing. Then we look at local marketing. Then we look at mobile marketing. Then we look at social media marketing. We do those three first because they're quick. You can get... Um, citations, you can get in directories, reviews, testimonials, all of those things, local search terms, all that is free with local marketing. Mobile marketing, that's things like uh, QR codes, SMS messages, short cards, short codes, etc. So we leave social media fourth because it is so big. There are so many different channels. Each one of them is a universe in and of itself that to start with social media would become very overwhelming. We didn't want to do that. We're like, we want you to get off to as fast a start as possible, start generating as many leads as possible, as quickly as possible. Stop being scattered. Just focus on video. Then once that's working well, then you can, like I said, focus on local, focus on mobile, focus on social media because there are so many different channels. Right after that, we look at analytics, right? So you want to take a look at now that you've been doing those things, what is and isn't working and you will be able to start to identify some patterns or some target audiences like you'll definitely learn something while you are implementing the first three to four strategies of the soul system and then the fourth one two three four fifth the fifth thing that we look at is analytics and i'll just give you a sneak peek after analytics we look at competitive research right because you want to take a look at, um, if you follow the 10 commandments of marketing, you want to know your business and it's, it's know thy business and to thy business be true, know thy competitors ways and you'll never be blue. So when you look at the order of that, you have to know yourself first before you're going and taking a look at what your competitors are doing. So again, with the soul system, start off with video then you do local, then you do mobile, then you get high quality leads from your social media efforts. And then you start to take a look at your own analytics, right? Before looking at competitive research, 
Those first six steps are the first six steps of the soul system. And they're the basic, simple sort of steps. After that, once you know who you are, once you know, you know, what your competitors are offering and how you want to position yourself in the marketplace and who your ideal target market is, then you really want to start to take a look at branding and messaging and attracting your ideal audience. So the next six steps, I believe, are branding, content creation, content. There's two content creation. One is content creation, content marketing, content distribution, campaign planning, and paid ads. Paid ads is last. Anyhow, we have a master class and it's um, an ongoing program. Once a week, we meet Thursdays at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we cover one of each of these strategies. They're each their own individual master classes. We go in deep and in depth and we look at your actual program. And, you know, I just talked with my girl Donna yesterday and she's just doing so well. She's been able to leave her full-time gig because her gig is doing what it needs to do. And part of that is because she's been able to implement these corporate strategies that I teach throughout the soul system. Anyhow, so in that program, we are looking at analytics now. We've done video marketing. We've done local marketing. We've done mobile marketing. We've done social media marketing, social media calendar, all that kind of stuff. Now we are looking at analytics. So I first did a video on my analytics for YouTube. And then I did my analytics for LinkedIn. And I mentioned to Donna in yesterday's masterclass that... When we meet next week or the week after, I will show her my LinkedIn analytics. And she got very excited about that. She goes, well, now she is going, moving more towards corporate marketing strategies. Yeah, more towards B2B. So she recognizes and realizes that she needs to have a profile on LinkedIn. So as I was just posting today, I noticed that... I noticed that um, there's my public profile. And then this is this is what I see when I log on. So I was like, oh, I didn't realize it was different. So I thought, let me make a quick video and go through my LinkedIn page and what needs to be changed. And then I guess with Donna, even though we did some social media, LinkedIn is still some social media. So we can certainly circle back and spend some time here before moving to more analytics, because she's already done some of her analytics from her website, which I will share with you guys here. Um, but once she gets her LinkedIn page up and going and starts posting, and again, she'll know what content because we already worked on that before. And positioning is going to be a little bit different. She's going to have to decide who her target market is. But once she starts posting on LinkedIn, then she'll be able to get some analytics that she can look at to again, make strategic decisions like we did and or that we're going to rather based on the insights that we got on the statistics that we looked at the other day. So I would highly encourage you to go and look at that video, look at Donna's statistics, look at our LinkedIn an analytics metrics, whatever. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube for sure. Follow my personal page here on LinkedIn and our business page because the content is slightly different. And if you would like to enroll your business in our masterclass mentorship and accelerator program, it's an ongoing enrollment. We do normally take in the mass majority of people in January so that they're doing the video marketing and every month they focus on something leading up to paid ads, which I know Donna is eventually going to do, which I'm so excited about. But um, yeah, yeah. So while I was on my page, I figured I would make a video about it because video is everything and Donna wants to learn about it. So I'm like, hey, let me make a video. So here you go. So one of the things we just talked about branding before on my Facebook page, I went through a whole thing about branding. I created something called the Picture Perfect Pose Party, which is actually a franchise. So if anybody's interested in that, just send me a message and I'll follow up with you. But we told people, I mean, I know there's AI now. This was back in 2019. There's AI now where you can upload a picture and it will give you all of these amazing social media images of you. But I mean, they're completely fake. 
And that's not how you look in real life, right? So we said, hey, here's a part, uh, you know, you got to learn how to pose. You have to have pro professional photos for your social media. And I think one of the exercises we will do with Donna in the upcoming weeks is take a look at her. We'll do a, um, we call it an internet, an internet landscape exercise. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, we're just going to go take a look at what we see when we go to look for Donna and her product online. And does she have a professional profile picture for her social media? Anyway, so I do. These came from the Picture Perfect Pose Party. This is like the picture that I use everywhere. You want to make sure that you have um, symmetry and it's seamless and they're not just a whole bunch of pictures of me that are, are different. You want to have that consistency that helps with the branding and the messaging. I'm at a desk. I'm authoritative, but I'm a little bit, you know, laid back a little bit. I've got a nice boss chain, some jewelry, a little bit of cleavage. Like it's all, it's, it's on brand. You've got the brown. None of it is accidental, right? Then you want to make sure that you have a professional, a professional LinkedIn banner. And we'll get into the details of this, you know, make sure that you have a link. This is something we use on YouTube and then just put it here, but I would lay it out differently. This is a lot of wasted retail space, but we just did what we could in the time that we had to do it. But now with AI and Canva, you should be able to do these things very quickly. So we'll take a look at a couple of other LinkedIn profiles and you'll see how mine is different. It's not just my name because who cares about my name? I want you to know right away, MBA, PMP, award-winning chief marketing officer, marketing strategist, AI consultant, TEDx speaker. Like you... you you, everything you need to know, right? And then what have my achievements been? Why is this computer not working? There we go. I'm um, helped four companies make $3.85 billion in four years, consistently deliver double digit returns and up to 1200% growth increase, all documented. TEDx speaker, so you know that I'm a good communicator, someone of value, keynote, industry award winner and academic award winner. And then I say I'm the inventor of the soul system. Uh, so before I had things like CEO and founder of the company, nobody cares. Everybody's a CEO and founder. What have you done? And I didn't say creator of the soul system. I want to be the inventor. So I, I don't even make videos as much as I used to anymore. I used to justify everything I was doing. I did a post today and I changed one word and that word made all the difference. And I'm like, I don't need to, oh, I'm going to make a video about how I, oh, I know what it was. It was on my YouTube page, yeah, it was on a YouTube page and um, it was one of the tags and one of the, it was on a, sorry, a YouTube video. And in the description area, I put three tags. The first tag I put was marketing, CMO, and then I don't, fractional CMO, right? Cause I wanted to come up for chief marketing officer opportunities, consulting opportunities. But then I was like, marketing is so generic. Everyone's typing in marketing and it it's so broad. That's not good enough. This video is about LinkedIn. So I changed the hashtag from marketing to LinkedIn. And that might seem like a little thing and you know, people may not even think of it, but it actually makes all the world of difference in terms of CEO and stuff like that. I mean, SEO and stuff like that. So for me, I don't have to justify my expertise anymore. I can literally come in, bang, 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 and literally do in 10 minutes what it might take people 10 weeks or 10 months to figure out. So that's what you're getting with me. So you want to make sure that you set up your LinkedIn profile, something like this. I will go over a few other ones so that we can take a look. You want to make sure that you're posting regularly and... Uh, private to you, okay. Analytics, 760 post impressions in the last seven days, I appeared in 38 searches. And then in terms of your branding, you wanna make sure you're posting things where when people are scrolling quickly, you are seeing, you seem authoritative, um, being a think tank, being a thought leader, which is why I tried to do that. I use a lot of video again, map them when experience matters. Um, experience the difference experience makes right I can look at all the posts but anyway there are a couple of different places where you can put your link there's um you know you can have a call I'm sorry my computer is whatever um 
Oh boy. Maybe I have too much stuff open. But anyway, here, the benefit, get customers and leads. Oh my Lord. Oh boy. Anyway, this is all about positioning, right? Um, I'm getting upset now. Stop. Are you finished? <laughs> okay. At the bottom here, um, get customers and leads for free. This is a link, right? Um, we have monthly reporting and tracking of numbers at the beginning of every month, the end of every month. What are our numbers so that we know that we're growing? That's just in a simple Excel sheet. Anyway, this is not opening like I would like it to. So we're going to go to my next page. By the way, you can also get recommendations. You probably want to have those ahead of time before building up your LinkedIn page. I realize on mine that I have my old name, so it doesn't make sense. It's like I have to get updated. I have to get updated recommendations. I don't even know how big a deal that is on LinkedIn anymore. But I was like, oh, I have a public profile. It doesn't look to me like it looks to everybody else. It's like, no. Okay. So this is your public profile to edit it. You can edit the content. You can edit the visibility. Um, this is pretty much the same personal website. So I don't even know where this goes. Okay. 2,000 followers, 500 connections. Oh, we're growing in followers. We didn't have 2,000. You might want to check this contact us for these services. This is pretty accurate, but you want to check it for yourself. And I also noticed that under our about us section, this is old stuff, right? Again, just like Don, I'm going after a different market now. So we offer Wall Street marketing tactics to Main Street entrepreneurs at affordable rates, allowing them to quickly experience massive digital success, translating into profits they can be proud of for those we serve. Nikembe holds an MBA from Northeastern University is a CEO and founder of Mapton marketing and mobile apps. That's not even our name anymore. If we were a company, Mapton provides marketing mentorship to small businesses. Still do that, encouraging them to leverage the power of digital media and mobile apps. Still doing that to boost annual revenues, improve customer retention, stay ahead of absolutely with over a decade and a half. It's now 22 years. That's how old this is. Nikembe is a world-renowned motivational speaker who educates audience about leveraging. Nice. See, empowerment, the digital revolution, it's all on brand. She's a self account. Yeah, okay. So that part's accurate. This part needs to be changed. I'm also going after a different market. I'm going to use different terms in terms of strategy, chief marketing officer. Like this is all going to change. So it's actually pretty cool that I saw this. Um, you can see again, if someone looking at my personal page, this is what they're going to see. Map them when experience matters, marketing strategy solutions, send an email to info right away. I uh, shared that. I've got a video PowerPoint. Sometimes I just have PowerPoints and videos on my computer that I need to get rid of. So I'm like, <laughs> I might as well post them instead of just deleting them. I might as well just post them because I don't need to save them. I'm not going to use them for anything. I put everything up on YouTube and in our Google Drive as a backup. So if I ever need a video again, I can just download it. I don't need to keep it on my drive or like even in the cloud, taking up storage and paying for extra storage. So we've started using thumbnails in our um, LinkedIn and our LinkedIn videos as well. You can see my experience here. Okay. My architect, Todd Brown, uh, funnel automation, Todd Brown, copywriter, director. Reliance Home Comfort. One of the things I want to do is I'm going to go through each of these jobs and how they were different. There's some stuff that's not even on here. I mean, if we talk, I can do individual campaigns for all of Maptom's clients. And I was in sales for seven years, way longer than that. Maybe not. I sort of came back to Primerica after I left for a little bit. And then the Cherry Pages, publisher and director of sales. Yeah and program my manager and policy analyst at the government of Ontario. Yeah, that's super exciting. So that's a nice, pretty good looking profile, I, I think. Um, edit the contents, we'll do that together later, but I, don't, I think I just need to edit a couple things. We need to change this banner. 
Um, and then they have some other stuff here. Name, portfolio, basic, public, all members on or off LinkedIn, okay. All this stuff I allow to show. Details, past experience, education, details. All right, so I think the only thing I wanted to do was quickly click on where it says my website. So I don't know where that goes. And then we can take a look at setting up a LinkedIn business page. Take a look. LinkedIn business page. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. Didn't know this. Oh, this is not even active anymore. Oh. This is why it's important. Okay, um, on our team that you have an SEO person and a tech person and someone who just goes through your website on a regular basis and all of your social media now that I'm thinking about it and we actually have to keep a log of where we have all of our links because there are multiple links on LinkedIn, multiple links on YouTube, multiple links on Facebook, multiple links on Instagram. Everything is all over the place and things change. And I mean, I don't even, I couldn't even track how many clicks we have got to this or how many are lost, right? This is a lost opportunity, lost money. And um, that's why you want to hire a professional and an expert to come in and be like, you need to do this, this, that, that, this, you need to do this, blah, blah, blah. Somebody who knows. So you're saving like lots and lots of time and money. So anyway, that is one of the other places where you can put a link. This is to our webinar, not working. I'll have to get the team on that. But um, yeah, that's my video for the day. So again, I, I, I'm gonna play with this after. I really wanna click on edit content, but I don't think I need to. I think it's it's decent enough. The universities I went to, personal website does not work. <laughs> that was very interesting. Come on, one quick look at what my page looks like to me, and then I'm gonna sign off. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, did I delete it? Okay, I guess that's it. I'm probably running out of space on my computer. So we will just stop the meeting to Lou. Bye. Leave me alone. <laughs>